Hola, Goody Buds! Welcome, Welcome back to, to Lipsticks and Glitz. I'm Shantae. And I'm Raquel. And today we're going to be doing a makeup haul, if you will. Yeah. Okay? So stay tuned and we'll get started. Okay, Glitty Bugs, I will go ahead and get started. Um, <laughs> I'm going to start with just two um, body sprays that I got from um, Victoria's Secret. Um, I've had them for a couple of weeks now, and I actually love the scent of them. This is the first one. Pink and it's Flirt. Total Flirt, pardon me. And... It smells really good. It's kind of sweet with a little bit of, I don't know, it just smells really good. It's like, <laughs> it smells like something, I just can't remember. But yeah, this is pink, total flirt, and it has more of a sweet tone to it. It's more sweet smelling. And the next one is... Um, of course by pink as well and it's fresh and clean and it's just that it smells like <laughs> it smells fresh and clean so I'm gonna let y'all know now my TT is mad at me because I have a shopping addiction problem and she did not believe that I had one so when I went and got stuff over I believe this was like around Halloween and in the summertime so I'm using it for the haul, and she's upset with me, so... She's holding out. <laughs> <laughs> she's really holding out because... <laughs> I'm just very upset because we normally do our shopping together, and I feel like she cheated on me. I did not. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you guys these lipsticks that I originally went to the store to look for, and they did not carry it in stores, and I had just plugged my meter, and I was like, okay, well, I'll plug my meter, so I'm not going to go in here and not get nothing. <laughs> So I bought something, but I'll do the ones that I originally went in the store for. So they're lipsticks, and they're by NYX, and they're from the Wicked Collection. So, okay. So it's Cold Hearted. It's, I believe, black with some silver in it. So I'll swatch them. So that one is... And call heart. <laughs> this one is scandalous and it is a greenish tealish color. Love. This is one of my favorite ones. And I was reading the reviews for this, for these lipsticks, and that's that one there. Um the reviews were kind of mixed. Like everybody liked them, and then there was some who said the it's more glossy so it doesn't stay on as often this is sinful and not the mac sin but <laughs> what you can do for those i find as well as you can take a shadow that's close to that color and put on it and and it should stay fairly well the same color okay i think I did, I did see close that close or semi close yeah and um you can also make a different color out of it as well. But I wore them and they weren't too bad. I didn't really have a problem with it, but I didn't wear it for too long either. So maybe I'll try and wear it all day and see how that works out. Um, this is another green. It's called Risqué. <laughs> it reminds me of um, that eyeshadow. I have an eyeshadow similar to this color. So that's Risqué. It doesn't know how many I had. Oh, and then this was the last one from the Wicked Collection, and it's Stone Cold. This one is like super sheer, so I have to do a few swipes for that one. And that's that one. And then these are. Macaron. <laughs> <laughs> yes, macaron. Okay. Um, these are some really bright colors, so I would not wear these by themselves. I've actually worn 
this key lime one with both greens. Um, I wore it out to dinner and I took it off when I got ready to eat because I was not trying to play those games. <laughs> so <laughs> that is that one there. And then this pink one is rose. So I've always wanted a... I'm trying to find one for you guys. Here we go. I always wanted like a really light pink, but I don't know. Cause I had to order these ones offline, so that's that one. So I wasn't really sure um, how they would turn out to look. But for the most part, the Wicked ones are my favorite um, because they're all dark pigmented and everything like that. Um, but like I said, the macaron um, ones I have to be a little careful with. Um, and I think these were the main ones who had that view of being too sheer. And then this one is Citron, which is an orange. Reminds me of a duck. I don't know why I ordered that one. But I did, so now I have to make it work with something. Mm -hmm. So that's that one. And that is the Wicked and Macaron collection that I got from um, Ulta. I got that from Ulta. And they're by NYX. <laughs> okay, I um only purchased a few items from Ulta. Um and the first two items are um these finishing sprays by NYX. I got those as well. Those are my other ones. <laughs> <laughs> um I have the matte finish and I have the dewy finish. Um, I just used the dewy finish today, and she used the matte finish yeah. today. <laughs> so, um, so far, so good. Mm -hmm. um, I like them. Mm -hmm. My next purchase is a Evercolor Poreless Face Definer, and it's by Mally. This is very, very, very pricey. Um, but when I tried it in the store, I absolutely loved it, so I decided to purchase it right then and there. Um... It's basically used to minimize your pores. You can use this as a base for your foundation to stick to and adhere to. Um, and I will just open this up for you. And the first thing you see when you open the box is just this little pamphlet here. Um, giving you information about it um, and how to use it and things like that. And this is what it looks like. Okay, and it comes with a sponge like so. And here's what it looks like in the inside. It's just, it's clear. Like so. Just clear. And it is so silky. Like your foundation goes on like butter. I mean like butter. You know, like it's so, like fill this. Like just on your skin there. And now rub your skin. Okay. I feel like better. I mean, it, it seriously is like maybe go in the store. I think they should have like a little tester and just try it. It seriously, it really, um, not, it, it kind of protects your face from the foundation, but at the same time, still leaving it smooth. It's, it's really nice. Um, I would, even though it's a little bit pricey, I still will recommend it because it works awesome. And I also purchased this, um, the uh, Poor Professionals by Benefit, um, and it looks like this. It just comes in a little tube like so, and this is what it looks like. And this also works pretty good. I actually use this today um, versus the Mali. Um, and I like this as well. And that's all that I actually purchased from Ulta. Okay. Um, I do have some other stuff that I did purchase from Ulta. And that's what I got instead of the lipsticks that I did show you. Um, I got these three high voltage lipsticks. Uh oh, my bad. These three high voltage lipsticks and um, is it color? No, 
Sorry guys. Okay. This one is flawless. And it's a nude color. I've worn this one um, before and I absolutely love it. But I do wear it with a, a brown liner. Um, I don't know. New lipsticks make my lips look ashy, so I have to use brown liners with them. But that's that one. And then this one is Playdate. And it is this color. I hope you guys can see this. And it goes on so smooth. So that's Playdate. Are those, what kind of finish are those? Is it matte? Or? Um, no, it's not matte. Uh, this one is twisted. I don't know if you can see it on there. <laughs> this one is twisted and it's another purple. I don't know why I am obsessed with purple lipsticks, you guys. Like, it's great. So, this one is again twisted over there. And then. I've got the NYX lipsticks. Um, the simply, this is simply vamp. This is simply pink, and this one is simply pink. So my auntie actually had this one when we went the very first time and took the last one, so I had to go back and get it. But it's temptress. And oh, I love this, you guys. Oh. I believe this is the lipstick that you wore for the Halloween video, right? Think so. I think this is it. But yeah, that's that so. one. I love that one. <laughs> and then this one is French Kiss. And it's the pink one. Ooh la la. <laughs> it reminds oh, me pretty. of like almost like a dupe for Candy Yum Yum maybe. And that's that one. I don't think I wore that one yet. But I, I've worn this one. <laughs> this one is First Base. And I like this one. I just throw this on, no liner, no nothing, and I wear it just like that. Um, it's not this dark when I put it on. I take that back, I wear lip gloss with it. So those are the ones that I did end up purchasing. And also this eyeshadow base. This one is white, and it's more of a matte um, type of finish to it. So I kind of like that when I put on my... Um, eyeshadow that has like the glitter in it and everything and I kind of sometimes want that toned down so I toss that on there to bring it out and I do have another uh, white eyeshadow base that my aunt gave me and it was um, it had a pearl it was white pearl or something like that so I like that one when I want to be all sparkly but lately I've been in a kind of mad mood so <laughs> <laughs> and that is all I got from Walter and the NYX um, finish sprays. These are a few items that I've actually purchased from MAC. Um, the first two items that I will show you are lip liners. And the first lip liner here is Plum. And I really, 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 really love this color. Ooh, that's pretty. Here is I need Plum. To get my lip liner game up from that <laughs> <laughs> and the next one is called cyber world I really like this one. Oh my god that goes with cyber mm -hmm. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Lo oh so in love with this you guys so in love hence why I need to get my <sighs> game up because I have the cyber lipstick so I would need that <laughs> And the next thing I purchased was the Studio Finish Concealer. Um, it's This one I basically bought um, for a highlighter underneath my bras and possibly underneath my eyes, depending. But for right now, I'm just using it for under my bras when I decide to. And my normal foundation color is NC45, so I went just one lower and got the NC42 and that's what that looks like okay and then I purchased um, a cream sheen glass and this is Enchanter which is a really really pretty color you guys it's awesome glitty bugs 
and I'll give you a little swatch here on my hand. It's just for something, you know, you're going to run some errands, you don't feel like heavy duty lipstick, but you want something on your lips, you can go for something like that. Okay? And, you guys, I have been wanting to do this haul, especially for this. You don't this understand the search is for, for the Ariana Grande lipstick and lip gloss. The matte lipstick and the lip gloss. Okay? Um, I'll swatch more until she talks yeah. about it. <laughs> this is the Viva Glam Ariana Grande. And I'll put it up here for you guys to see. You guys, this is such an awesome color. I'm telling you. Okay, and then the lip gloss. Um, when I because I'm just funny like that. Anything clear or of a lighter color, I take another lip brush, stick it in, and use it because I don't want the dark color inside of there. So um, that's that's how I do mine. So I'll just swatch this. It just it's just a little bit of glitter, and it kind of goes over that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me just grab something so I could possibly show you guys real quick. And I've actually worn um, that combination on our second um, Why We've Been Gone video and the proposal video. If you have not seen those videos, I will put that link below. Make sure you go check those out. Um, but that was the combination of lipstick that I wore for that one. But just so you guys can kind of see it here and now, we'll try to throw it together really quick. Okay, so I found one of my little extra lippy. So I'll put this on top of that so you guys can see basically how it looks. It's so beautiful, you guys. And so again, that's this lip gloss over the Ariana Grande lipstick. Beautiful, you guys. Just beautiful. I love that combo. Okay, and so those are the last items that I purchased from MAC. And then I just have a lip liner and two, two shadows that I purchased from my local Walgreens. And I'll show you guys those. So this lip liner is by Jordana. And it is in Cabernet. And it I love this, you guys. It is beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. So that's that there. And... And so these are my final two items for our haul today, Glitty Bugs. Raquel? So I still have a little bit more stuff. Um, around Halloween, I, I don't know why, but I was on this hunt to get some green and blue lipstick. Don't ask me why, but... Um, yeah, I was just on a hunt for that. So um, as I was looking for it, I actually stumbled upon not green, but I got a blue and a purple and a black from Target. So um, these three are from Target, and they're the Fantasy Makers by Wet n Wild. So that's those. The blue one is Midnight Blue, um, and I haven't worn these. I just bought them in look to see what they look like and that was about it <laughs> this one is deep purple I'm going to swatch them and I'll just show you guys what they all look like and then it will be like right under each other and then this one is blackout blackout is kind of I don't like how it goes on so you have to like rub it a hundred times but here's the blue the purple and the black so those are the ones from Target um, nothing super duper fancy. And then another reason my aunt is probably upset with me is over the summer <laughs> I am addicted to eBay and um, I bought a, well I won, I was bidding on an item and it's um, a concealer palette. I have not used it, I just opened it to make sure everything was in there, but this is the palette. Um, and with this purchase came brushes. 
So I got all these little awesome foundation and concealer brushes. Um, I don't even know if I even open them, but. So there's these little separate guys here, and then there's these big ones here. So, um, yeah, I need to stay off of eBay. That's one thing I do know. But um, that's all that I have for our haul. Um, I believe that's all my aunt had for hers. I wait. I do have. It's it's not makeup, but I figured I would throw it in because. I love little notebooks and things like that with little sayings on them and things like that for motivation. I do like to journal a lot. Um, sometimes my thoughts, how my days are going, um, prayers to God and things like that. So um, the first one that I have here, it says the best way to get something done is to begin. And I really, really like that a lot. Okay, and I purchased this from Marshalls and it was $4.99. And here's what the inside looks like. Nothing too fancy. And it also has a little marker in there. So you know where you left off. So that's the first one. This one matches your nails. <laughs> and then the second one here says ridiculously good ideas I love this I jot everything down because I have so much going on on a day to day from my job my children everything that I have going on with the wedding and with Raquel's wedding and other things on the outside that I have going on and I literally have to jot everything down so when I come up with ideas I definitely do jot them down and this one I absolutely love. Um, again, this was purchased from Marshalls, and it as well was $4.99. I like the inside of this. Um, when you're working, say you're journaling or you're writing down a to-do list, here it has the month, the day, and the year. And also you can circle what day of the week it is that you have here. So I really, really like this one. And last but not least, the biggest book of all, um... This one was $5.99 and it was as well purchased from um, Marshalls. And the saying on the front says, quotes, musings, big ideas, thoughts, stories, and plans. And I absolutely love this. You guys, this is, I love it. And because of everything that I have going on, it was perfect because it has four different colors. So... I can do everything by color. I can do grocery, I can do lipsticks and glitz, I can do <laughs> kids, and I can do myself and all that good stuff. So, I absolutely love this. So, this this is it. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, Glitty Bugs. <laughs> so, that concludes this haul of ours. Um, we hope you enjoy. Please, 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 if you have not already, please yes. subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, make sure you like our videos. Leave your comments below on any other things that you would like us to do, whether it be challenges, makeup videos, anything like that. If you want to see us do something crazy, we we'll, might hesitate, but but it's for you, Glitty Bugs, so we'll, 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 we'll do it. We'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, I just want to take the time to thank those who have been following us, subscribing to us, and all of that from the beginning. We really do appreciate you guys. Um, we're trying to get up into them higher numbers, so if you can, please share our videos on Facebook, um, Twitter, um, put a link on Instagram if you can, if that's even possible. Um, <laughs> tell your friends, tell, tell your subbies, if you enjoy our channel, please recommend everybody. it. That'll be great. We would truly, truly appreciate it. Yes, and um, if anybody's interested, we would like to do collabs with you guys. That might Absolutely. be something. Um, Absolutely. So, yeah, just make sure you guys let us know what you want us to do, what videos you would like what us you to want. do. Absolutely. And we'll do our best to give you those videos. Um, mm -hmm. But stay tuned for this journey of ours. Um, yes. This is the second run-up, so we are we're planning to stick with it. We are going to... 
try to start vlogging. Mm -hmm. um, I know that we're going to start vlogging some of the wedding things that we're doing. Mm -hmm. We're going to make a wedding series. Mm -hmm. We haven't decided exactly what we're going to name it yet. Right. Um, so stay tuned for that. Yes. And also you guys will be able to meet the groom-to-be <laughs> <laughs> as soon as he gets settled and he's a, he has a lot going on right now mm -hmm. so as soon as we get everything settled with that you guys can probably meet him um hopefully we get to do a fiance tag yeah that'll be a video for you guys right absolutely um, yeah so a lot of videos that we're trying to get do, get out here and do that so we have in the works for you guys so just stay tuned bloody bugs and we love you and thank you This is something, you guys, that I purchased, <laughs> and I could totally kick myself for this. It's called Mally, and it is a Evercolor Poreless Face Definer, and, um, not definer, excuse me. Okay, we're going to have to edit that <laughs> Okay. Oh, I'm just fucking up all my own form. I'm losing my trainer. What is it? <laughs> okay. As you can use this. <laughs> you can and that's it for our haul. That concludes everything today. Oh, Lady Bugs. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs>